Hello guys feel very welcome to use utility. Today is special we are going to discover how to run 8 ball pool on your PC, as you can see you are watching it on screen. It will be possible to simply download and install 8 ball pool so that we can play your game on our Windows desktop or laptop with gamer keyboard if we want to, mouse and big screen. So without further ado, let's go buddies. First of all folks, the first thing to do is to launch our favorite internet browser. We open the one we use by default. Let's go to that URL I'm highlighting in green color. There you are seeing it on the PC screen. There is no need to type anything, because I added a clickable link in the description of this video and the first main comment. We landed on this page on our internet site of Usatility, where we include in-depth information on the best way to download 8 ball pool on PC. We scroll down a little bit and click on the download game on PC button. After clicking on that link, we reach the site of LD Player. No panic, it is just the Android emulator that we will load to get access to that game 8 ball pool on the PC. As you can discover here we have several advantages of preferring using this emulator, custom controls, multiple instances, instance synchronization, macros, scripts, high FPS, etc. Now we are on the way to proceed to download the 8 ball pool by simply clicking on the button download 8 ball pool on PC that you can see here in green color. We then click on it. And the download action takes no time at all. Here it is, here is located the download. It is an executable file. The following step is to run the installer, so we click on this file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to make modifications to the device. We clicked yes. I minimize the web browser to see the installation software much better. The installer is quite simple. It contains two choices, install, and setup path. I will show you what setup path genuinely does. We simply just click on it. So we discover that we have here the path where the emulator will be placed. If we plan to change for better this folder we need to click on the browse option, and we decide on another folder and install the emulator precisely where we desire. I prefer to leave it where it is. I click on back, so I just click on install. Right now, before starting installing the emulator, will also be possible that it'll offer us several computer software offers to put on on our desktop. Because I do not want to have any of these software program, I merely click each time on the reject button. Voila! The install starts and it's going to proceed in the download of those MB that happens to be visible on that screen. As you download it, it is likely to be slightly more or less megabytes. The data transfer rate could go faster or slower, subject to your internet and depending on the speed of the emulator hosting servers. Right away they're running superbly fast. The download is has been completed, and right now it proceeds with the setup procedure. The setup requires a little bit more or less time according to the power of your computer or laptop, the more powerful it's actually, the faster the installation time and or vice versa. If we put together the download and install stage it may take quite a long time, so have patience. It has already finished for me. At this moment, the emulator has actually been launched immediately. As you can observe, down here, there's a progress bar that will move forward to the right then when it attains the ending, the emulator is launched for the first time. The truth is the emulator has already been started, here it is for the first time. Then LD Store is automatically started, which is a sort of Google Play. It isn't really the smartest technique to set up the video game, and therefore I do not endorse it, because quite possibly the LD Store sets up an out-of-date version of the game. Allow me to share with you the way to set up the game by using Google Play and I recommend you to do it this way. The first thing we will have to do is to head to the desktop by simply clicking on this software icon that I'm indicating in green. Before we carry on, as you can discover, it has made two software icons right here on the computer desktop. The LD Player and LD Multiplayer. Note that the LD Player app icon will be one we are concerned with. Whenever we would like to start 8 ball pool on the laptop or computer, we double mouse click on the software icon and as a result launch the emulator. The LD Multiplayer icon has nothing to do with multiplayer or even anything at all like this, the truth is, it is an icon that we would probably never ever work with. Why don't we do the following step, which is a requirement, and this is to log on to the Google Play Store. To do that we will browse there to, System Apps, we click. And we'll click on Play Store. As you can observe the Google Play is presented. Here we must sign in. At this point when we're here, we must definitely perform this next phase that is obligatory. So we mouse click on, Sign In. At this moment it announces, Checking Info. It can in some cases get stuck in, Checking Info, additionally it fails to advance. If that's the case, you can attempt to log in in after a couple of hours and it may usually be sorted out. At this moment we shall enter our email and password. The email ought to be a Gmail email address as well as its related password. For example you can utilize the same email address you use at this moment in your YouTube account. So that I will submit my information and I will revisit as soon as I have done it. That's it, data typed in. Here is Google welcoming us and presenting us their twos. We must consent to them by clicking, I agree. Following, it allow us to back up to the Google Cloud. You might leave it selected and this will make a backup of your data on this device to Google Drive. I am not going to check it, you can utilize that option if you prefer. We mouse click on accept. The Google Play is presented as favorite choice and immediately. If the Google Play is simply not started by default and you have no clue how to launch it manually, I reveal to you how to do it. Firstly is to proceed to the emulator desktop by simply clicking this icon noted in green color. 
At this point we navigate to the System Apps folder. And we click on the Play Store icon. Alright, I am here inside of Google Play. What we're going to accomplish will be browse here to search for apps and games. And we're going to do a search for 8 ball pool. There we have got it, we should go through the first result. There we access to the game. Let's quickly click now on the install choice that I'm just presenting now in green. And this will initiate the installation. At this time it will download on your desktop or laptop and set up the Android game. It can take some time or it may possibly be very fast. It again all is dependent upon on our own internet connection. This has just completed installing. Now, let's go to the emulator desktop by simply clicking this option that I am emphasizing in green, that allows you to use 8 ball pool for the very first time. We're currently on the emulator desktop, and we are going to mouse click on that brand new 8 ball pool software icon that was created. This game is started for the first time. So there we get it, I can also mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should talk about the volume of this emulator. It is right here. We have got the icon of higher volume along with the icon of lower volume. This manner we won't depend on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the audio of this emulator. And to appreciate the experience to the fullest, we should turn on the large monitor, for which we have two choices. This is simply the first one. We simply click on this software icon which I am indeed showing in green. And the display screen is maximized, having one border at the top, one on the right side and the third one at the bottom. In the event that we desire to experience the game using all the screen, we click this particular application icon. Then we would probably already be experiencing the game in 100% screen setting. To quit the complete screen setting, push the F11 key. And we might already end up being in normal display screen setting. At present, I am ready to clarify you the keyboard mapping that is rather cool. That step we definitely will be ready to utilize the game far more easily. The very first point is to click on this application icon. And here you will be able to get the necessary controls. I'll go ahead and let the normal settings, but if you desire to improve it, you may well do so without having problem. I consider this moment to comment that in some cases, when starting the Android game a dark screen occurs, if it's like this and you see the black display and the emulator is unable to initiate, I suggest a possible fix. We would go here, to the cogwheel. Within the emulator options, in the advanced choice we have different graphic resolutions. That is the image resolution we have presently selected as favorite choice and we must select any of these additional resolutions, for example this particular one here. We choose it and click on save. It will certainly require us to reboot your emulator and as soon as restarted, likely the emulator will start and your black display will vanish entirely. As you can see, the emulator is absolutely in our language. In some cases it happens that your emulator is started in the erroneous language, such as, in Chinese language. And then to set it up in the right language we go there to the cogwheel. Then right here within various other settings, we mouse click on the language drop down. We will go with the language we wish, Spanish, Chinese, and so on. Once the language is determined, we are going to save, the emulator would reboot, and also the video game, the next time we start it, would also be in the selected language. At this point, there is another element that we must take into consideration, and it's that we will get an email reporting that a brand new device has been connected with our Google account. It will likely question us if we're the individuals who have connected that electronic device. Of course, we may not worry, simply because the emulator is emulating in Google Android device. In order to identify which device is currently being emulated, we come right here, to the cogwheel, and we then click on it. Therefore we go here to the model choice. And here we determine that the emulator is simulating a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all folks, so much for that tutorial. I sincerely hope you enjoyed it, especially that everyone found it useful. In this case, give it a superb thumb up, subscribe, and I will be happy to answer your feedback, requests or ideas, put them in the comment box below. You also can comment things on my Twitch channel, I do live streams from time to time, you have it down below in the video description and in the very first pinned comment. Mouse click on any of the videos which are usually showing up on the computer screen and let's have fun again in the following online videos. Bye.